Dove Creek Equine Rescue rehabilitates horses right here on the High Plains so they can have a forever home. The rescue's process is lengthy, but it's crucial to make sure the horse recovers healthily. KMR Local 4's Kaylee Hanna has details about that healing process. That is our Heart of the High Plains tonight. Allie McEwen, Dove Creek's Director of Operations and Volunteers, says after a horse is brought to the rescue, they complete an arrival protocol. We see where they're at as far as a body score. So one is the worst, then we go to two, three. Um, so then from there, we take their body weight and we average up what they need to be eating. So we take them on a slow process back to gaining weight, healthy, uh, get their vaccinations, they stay in quarantine for two weeks. And then after the two weeks, we really decide, do they still need more time to you know, stay in one little area and get fed about four times a day? But McEwen says the process doesn't end there. Once they've rehabilitated in that area, then we start them in our training program. Our trainer takes them in, she evaluates them. Have they ever had a saddle? You know, are they, you know, just all the things. And so then we just, we take it step by step from there. Wherever they need to start, that's where we start. And we get them to a point where we feel like they're safe to adopt out to a home. And some are really experienced riders. Some of them need that. You know, people can still finish the training as well. She says the rescue is only allotted a certain amount of horses per grazing land to keep the horses healthy and sustained. So we have our healing herd that they stay here. So then we have um, a section that is our bring in, rehabilitate and rehome. So every horse that leaves, that opens up a spot for a new horse. So it is very important that, you know, our flow of adoption keeps going so that we can keep saving horses. McEwen's advice for those looking to adopt a horse. One of the biggest things is cost of feed and health care. Always be prepared that, you know, any vet visit that you can cover financially and the feed financially, it's very costly. And then the time, the time that it really puts in. You can't just adopt a horse and turn them out to pasture and expect them to work good for you, especially a rescue. Our rescues really need a lot of that one-on-one -on -one attention and know that, you know, they're taken care of and that, that they've got their home. In Canyon, Kaylee Hanna, KMR Local 4 News. McEwen says a list of adoptable horses and their stories can be found on the rescue's website. She does recommend meeting the horses in person before you turn in an adoption application.